Welcome to Mechanical Tutorials. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. See, today I am going to explain how to create simple component. So I have taken the new part file. So this total length is 75 plus 90 and this distance is 56. Select the top plane. Right click midpoint select control make it coincide this is 56 say okay and this distance is Here 90 plus 75, 165. So 165. Say okay. And thickness is 16. Okay. So my base is ready right now. Save this file. Right click. Go to sketch. Keep it normal. Okay. I am going to create this boss now. Boss is at 75, 35, 75 distance from this edge and height is 36 and diameter is 50 so select a circle distance between two, these two is 75 and base so this distance is 36 say ok and diameter is 50 okay now go to feature select this extrude select this mid plane see distance is 66 say okay Now I have to add this material with tangency. So right click, go to sketch, keep it normal, select this edge, convert entity, select this edge, convert entity, select this circle, convert entity and place one line and chain place one more line so, 
so here select this and con control and select this line and go for tangency and select this point and make it coincide so automatically it selects the circle select this line control and select this make it say I have not selected this line actually it's a point select this line con control and select this circle make it tangent same way make it coincide now go to trim option go to power trim and delete this and this and go to power trim select these two lines these two lines whichever been required we have to select those two lines so these two loops are closed now go to feature select extruded boss keep it mid plane and this will be 56 okay Okay. so this is done okay now I have to create this slot kind of feature uh, it's actually it's not a slot extruded boss so the this the starting plane is at 5 plus 12 it is 17 so initially I have to create one plane from this face so select this go to sketch select feature I'm sorry select this face go to feature and go to plane so 12, 12 plus 5 is 17 so 17 Say ok so I have to select in other side so flip this say ok so select this plane go to sketch select the sketch feature and keep it normal so this one so this radius is 60 and Pitch circle is the is dia is 60 plus 15. So I will select center points arc slot. So keep near to this circumference and select this center and place it like this. So now this is 60 control 60 okay and distance between these two is 15 now I have to constrain these two arcs so for that I have to take center line click this center keep it horizontal click this center point and keep it vertical so select this point select control and select this center and make it coincide coincident say ok select this point control and select this point and make it 
coincident say okay so this slot is ready now so the slot is at 18 thickness so 1 8 18 Okay. So this is done. Now what I have to do is I have to add this material and this material. So this is twelve thickness and thirty distance. So select the front plane. I mean plane two and. Select, go to sketch, keep it normal, and convert this into entity. Convert this into entity. Convert this into entity, and select this line. Place it here, and chain. Place one more line. Place it here. Okay. Now, select this. and this line make it tangent and coincide okay now you can coincide this also and make this distance of 30 Say okay, and coincide, and coincide this. Okay. And trim this. Trim this. Trim this. Now this loop is closed now. Now go to feature, extrude, and thickness is twelve. See this is closed now. Now select the plane, go to sketch, keep it normal, and. convert this entity see this distance is 27 that is important select this edge and line make it 27 So this is now coincide this coincide this and select this edge convert entity select this edge convert entity and even select this edge and convert entity just simply move in another direction. now go to trim option go to corner trim select this two this one so that loop closes completely go to extrude boss same it is 12 mm so okay Same. 
it right so this is this is done now material addition is over i have to remove the material so these two slots 25 25 16 so that will be both sides so click this face go to sketch keep it normal And same way, one more one more circle. Okay. So click this control, click control, and make it equal. Select these two points with control button and make it vertical. Done. So it is aligned now. The next uh, distance between this edge and center is 25. This distance and this is 25. Next uh, distance between this edge and this point is 25. So now I have to mention the diameter that is 16. So sketch is constrained now. Go to feature. And up to next. Say OK. Now these holes. So diameter is twelve. Select this. This is 12. Say so, okay. Select any center line. Keep it select this and this two. Keep it concentric. So this is constrained now. Now go to circular pattern, select this point.
and select this and this is 30 flip direction see we are getting 4 say ok go to feature up to next say ok See our component is completely created. Here we need to apply fillet. So our component is ready now. Now we have to create the drawing. So this is drawing file. So go to this part place it here so this is the see one more thing sorry to say I forgot to create this whole feature Select this sketch, keep it normal, select this, so inside diameter is 25. Say OK. Go to feature. Select cut text tool. Select cut, cut text tool and up to next. Say OK. Now go to the drawing. Go to projected view. See, I placed the left side view because the right side view this part is not visible this one so I had to place left side view
if the upside view see rearrange these views okay now we have to keep isometric view Now move this to the right side. Red color. Now go to annotations, center line. So always select out outer uh, circle. Click this. Click this. Like this, like this. Now, select this. So we have to show according to drawing, but uh, it's not usual practice. Uh, so we have to give this dimension, overall dimension. Here I am keeping this as a reference. So for reference, They should be in brackets. Say okay. Now this distance don't select this uh, center mark because this dimension goes to the dangling sometimes when we edit or modify the part so always try to select the edges for placing dimensions This is twenty-seven. <coughs> now we have to give these angles so. We have to give center lines. So this is 30 degrees, say ok, so
this is wrong selection so go to smart dimension select this and this and this is 30 degrees so distance between uh, these two slots is 15 for that we have to select center point arc So the distance between this edge and its circle dia is 15. This. is 15 so hold diameter is 12 so next is diameters this distance and this circle we need to mention this is 50 this is 25 And this is 30. So we have covered all the dimensions in this front line. Next we need to give this dimension. So this is 56. So 56 we will mention in the top plane and the overall dimension we can keep here and uh, this can be reference dimension this can be reference dimension okay this is shown here so go to annotations if center lines Okay. So these two whole dimensions we need to provide. Distance between these two holes is 25. This edge to the center is 25. And we have two holes aligned. So we have to type 2 into hex and we have to mention these two individually. Okay, next is see this distance between this edge and this is 5 mm.
and this thickness is twelve. See here, and total thickness is eighteen. So we have covered all the dimensions. So this is how we need to give give the dimensions for each view. And we have covered all the dimensions as per pictorial view. Thank you very much.